Hi, I'm Benny Goodson from Langlet's Leathers, and today I want to talk about measuring jackets and showing you just how easy it is to do at home. So mainly this video will be for if you're at home measuring for yourself, but also if you have a video consultation scheduled with us, it's a good idea to just watch this video and get yourself familiar with the measurements that I'm going to be asking you to take. So if you go to our website, www.langlets.com, on the main page, you scroll to the bottom of the page, there's a catalog request button, and you hit that button and put in your address. We're gonna mail you a catalog, a measurement chart, a price list, and inside the measurement chart's gonna be all the instructions that you need to measure for the jacket. Now I understand some of you might not be able to find a friend or a family member to measure you up, and if you have to go to a professional tailor to get measured up, then we just ask that your tailor reads the instructions and sometimes that's kind of hard to do because maybe he has a certain way he wants to do it but if he reads the instructions and measure the way we ask you to do it then I assure you your jacket's going to be right. It's super easy and we have a satisfactions guaranteed on your fit of your jacket so you don't have to worry about if you mess up the numbers and it's not right we're going to make it right for you or we're going to send you a new jacket if we can't alter the jacket that we've made for you the first time. The one thing that you will need is a tape measure and a soft tape measure too. Sometimes I've seen people try to measure with like a metal tape measure. If that does not work, please get a soft tape measure. Also in your catalog, we're going to ask you a few questions. Uh, riding position on your motorcycle, if you're bent over, if you have ape hangers, or what's your, you know, basically what kind of fit you're looking for. If you have a desired fit that you would like to achieve, just write that in the square for additional notes and then give us the notes on the way that you want the jacket to fit later. We will try our best to achieve that fit for you. The other reason we like catalogs and not a computer system ordering is sometimes when you use a computer and everyone just puts in the numbers, we can't read anything from that. And sometimes when you mail back your original order chart, I see scribbles and different crossed out numbers and I can tell if someone was struggling with a certain number and it gives us a feel that we just can't achieve with computers. So that's why we're kind of old school and we like to receive the paper catalog back. It also helps us get to know you as a customer and when we get to know you as a customer we know what you're looking for and what kind of jacket you want to wear and how you want it to fit. Those are other things that can't be achieved if you just went to a website and clicked on a button and bought the jacket. So your first measurement is around the chest. We're gonna measure around the fullest part of the chest. If you just take both your hands and come around, I'm gonna measure from the biggest part of his chest at the fullest part of his chest. It's usually right at the nipple line. I like to leave the tape measure in the very front and then wrap around. Um, I do a lot of video consultations and I see people holding the tape measure over here. It's, it's much easier to work in the center of the chest and go from there. Once I have it held, I'm gonna walk around and look at the back of the tape measure and make sure it's not twisted and that it's going straight across his back. If you drop the tape measure, no big deal. Just come back around, bring it up to the fullest part of the chest, come across. You don't wanna to pull too tight and you don't wanna to be too loose, just nice and taut. It's easier if you keep a finger right here and then just bring the tape measure into its natural position. You'll have 39 and a half on this. So our second measurement on our order form is around the waist. We're gonna measure around the biggest part of the waist. You know, everyone's different, different shapes, different sizes. That's the beauty of having a langlets, but it's usually right around the navel area. You'll find the person's biggest part of his waist. Again, same way we measure the chest, just keep one thumb down or a finger on it. Again, just like the chest, not too tight, not too loose, just nice and taut. If you're not sure it's the biggest part of a person's body, you can always move down an inch or up an inch till you find the biggest part, but it's usually, again, right at their belly button. I'm gonna walk around the back and just make sure I have a good measurement while keeping my thumb on the tape measure. This looks nice and straight, we're good here. If it was twisted or too angled, you know, just go ahead and take another measurement. This one we have 33 and a half. Again, there, this is just around the waist. This is a real simple, easy measurement. This, none of this is hard. 
On our third measurement, we're gonna go around the hips. For a jacket measurement, we go one inch below the pants band. Um, he can leave his belt on for this measurement for it's a jacket. If it was measuring for pants, I would ask him to take his belt off. He does have a keychain on, so I'm gonna go underneath the keychain. So I'm gonna bring this around. There we go. I'm one inch below the pants band. About right here. Looking at the front of the band about one inch down. The pants band is just the bottom of the seam where your belt loops connect right here. It's usually just a little bit above that. So this one is 38 and a half. I'm gonna walk around and look at the back, make sure I'm straight and I have a nice gap of one inch around the bottom of the hips. This gives me a true measurement. Third measurement done, all super easy. Your fourth measurement is the front length of the jacket. We're gonna measure from the divot of his neck and we're gonna bring it down one inch below the pants band. Now you can ask for a longer jacket or a shorter jacket, but we do ask that you give us this number. We're gonna build allowances into the jacket. This will not be the final length of your jacket, but we need this number as a baseline. So if I find the divot of the neck is usually right at a person's t-shirt, sometimes it could be just a little bit below depending on what shirt they have. But I'm gonna hold this down with one finger, go down to the bottom of the belt band. Here we have 21 and a half plus one inch will give us 22 and a half inches. On sleeve length, the next measurement will be sleeve length. I'm gonna fill for the drop of his shoulder bone. And once I find that, that's gonna be the start of my sleeve measurement. I can put one finger here, hold on to that. Just bring it straight down with his arm in a nice relaxed position. Go ahead and put one finger at his elbow. You can let the top part drop, it's fine at that point. And then bring it down to the smallest part of his wrist, which is right beneath this bone. That's gonna give me 25 and a quarter, 25 and a half, right around there. A little quarter of an inch isn't gonna make too much of a difference. This isn't going to be the final sleeve length measurement. We're gonna to add to this measurement, but we do ask that you take it the way it's shown in the catalogs. But again, for desired fit, just get with us on the additional notes. Our next measurement is a wrist, the wrist measurement, the smallest part of the wrist. These are all so easy, simple measurements here. So just right beneath his bone, smallest part of the wrist. We're looking at seven inches. Okay, the next measurement is across the shoulders. So we're gonna just find, kind of like the sleeve measurement where I felt for the bone, we're gonna fill for the drop of the shoulder on each shoulder, kind of the end of the clavicle bone, but here's his bone here over to this side. So across the shoulders, you don't wanna measure straight across. We're gonna follow the arch of the shoulder, so it kind of goes like this. I'm gonna feel for his bone with my finger, so I can feel right here, that's the drop. I'm gonna hold one finger here. So I'm gonna go across the arch of his shoulders to the drop of the other side, and this is gonna give me 19 inches drop to drop across the shoulder. Our next measurement is back length. All right, so we're gonna just measure from about the bottom of his t-shirt band, right on the neck. And we're gonna go down to the bottom of the pants band, and then we're gonna add five inches to that. So in the instructions, you're just measuring down to the bottom of the belt band. This is about 21, plus five inches is gonna give me 26. Now that, again, is not exactly where your jacket's gonna end up. We have different measurements for the front length and back length and allowances that we can work into the jacket, but these are the baseline measurements that we need to build the jacket. Our next measurement is sleeve inseam. Just bring the person's arm up and grab your tape measure. It's gonna kinda just go into their armpit and we're gonna measure down to the smallest part of his wrist. The number's 19. This one's not super crucial. We just like to check your other measurement with it. It is just basically a guide for us to see if your first measurement was right on the money. We're gonna do the base of the neck, not the smallest part of your neck, but at the base of your neck. That's how we're gonna get this number. So basically around the neck, we're kind of looking about right here. Just throw the tape measure around his neck. 
real nice and easy. This is the base. The reason we say not too high, it's not up here, it's down here. So we're at 16 inches. Your next measurement is forearm. We're just going around the biggest part of his forearm. We already got the wrist measurement, so biggest part of his forearm. About right here. I'm at 11 inches. Now I can check, I can move down a little bit, I can move up a little bit, but I'm gonna say maybe even 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter is fine. Again, we're gonna be building allowances into the jacket, so just get as close as possible. Our last measurement is the bicep measurement for the jacket. So we're gonna go up to the biggest part of his bicep when his arm is down and in a relaxed position. You can move the t-shirt out of the way if you need to, but again, you can keep one thumb here. Try not to keep your fingers inside the tape measure. Bring it around. I'm at 12 and a half. Okay, that's it for measuring for jackets. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to give us a call or email the shop, and you can always get a hold of us for video consultations on measuring the jackets too.